everybody, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Villa Designs and welcome to my studio. Today I have a project to do a spring sprung inchy. Let's go ahead and get started. The materials that we'll use for this project are various colors of clay. Um, we will use some blue for the base and um, I've got um, two sheets rolled out to the number two setting and one sheet is textured. I'm going to lay those on top of each other to form the base layer. So the base is a little bit thicker. The other sheets of clay I have rolled out are actually rolled on the number three setting. I've got some cutters, a square, a heart, a little round, and some wire. This is 24 gauge wire, some seed beads, and then various tools. I've got a needle tool, embossing tools, uh, jewelry pliers, these are round nose pliers, and then other clay tools like a, a blade and a roller. So I want to get started and you can see that I've got the two layers together and I'm taking a piece of plastic wrap and I'm putting it over the clay. When I cut this, the plastic wrap will actually help bevel the edges and I want a nice bevel. I don't want a real sharp edge. So I'm just going to make four of these and I'll cut out the four. Lift those up and then I'll get those situated on my baking tile. I'll do all of the sculpting, etc., on the baking tile so I don't have to move these. So I've got my four tiles. And then I'm going to take this 24 gauge wire and I'll cut about four inches for each one of the tiles because this is going to serve as the spring. So I'll cut those wires. And then on each wire, I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to form a loop. This loop is going to be um, pressed into the clay, embedded in the clay, and it's going to help hold that wire in. And you can see that I'm just pressing it in and uh, making sure that it's covered and that there's no gap around it. So it's got the clay butted right up against the wire. And I will do that on each one of these four tiles, these little inchies. It doesn't really matter where you put these on the base. We're going to cover it up with the heart. Now one thing I would say is where you're placing it, make sure that it is going to get covered up by the heart because that's going to give it some extra strength and um, give it a little bit more, um, you know, keep, keep that wire really well embedded. So here's the purple clay and I'm just cutting out four hearts my bright green and I'm using my little 1 8 cutter, uh, circle cutter, and I'm cutting out 16 because these are going to go form the little balls on each of the corners. Okay, now we're going to start to assemble this. Take each one of these hearts and when you cut I don't always get a clean cut, so I'm rubbing off any little stray fragments of clay, uh, bits of clay there, just to give it a smooth edge. And you'll see that I'm putting those down. And you can see how I'm covering up the wire just a little extra so that um, it has good um, strength and it's not going to pull out. Okay, I've got my hearts on. Now I'm going to take each one of these little uh, clay circles and roll it into a ball and these are going to go on each of the four corners. Now I decided at the last minute that the hearts needed a little bit more embellishment so I'm going to use this yellow clay and a flower cutter and I'll just cut out four flowers. And just cleaning up any of the edges on those flowers. And those will go right in the center of each one of the hearts. Now I'm going about making sure that all of the clay is well adhered. And I'm pressing down those uh, each of the little balls in the four corners, making sure that the heart and the, the flower are 
all pressed really well together. I'm not, you know, crushing them, but I am making sure that they're adhered. And then I've got a small embossing tool and I'm just adding a little extra texture by embossing, um, placing holes or, um, you know, embedding the embossing tool around the heart shape to give it a little bit of definition and a little bit of depth and texture. And I'll do that around each one of these hearts. Now I'm using um, a larger ball stylus to make the center of the flowers and then I'm pressing the uh, embossing tool into each one of the four corners. And here's what they all look like right before they go into the oven. And here's a close-up so you can get a good look at how I use the embossing tool. That's really cute. We'll cure that at the manufacturer's temperature for 60 minutes. And when it's done, uh, these are out of the oven and that wire is pretty secure. So I'm using my needle tool. You could use a knitting, this actually is a, a knitting needle. It's a, a double-ended knitting needle. But you could use various sizes or a bamboo skewer, something like that, a pencil, whatever you've got. Just go ahead and use that to make the spring and just wrap that around. You don't want to go all the way to the end, but you want to go pretty close to the end. And then we're going to add the seed bead. This is one of the larger ones. I think it's a 6-0. But I'm not sure about that. So I just use my jewelry pliers to um, put a little twist at the end so that that seed bead doesn't come off. And then I'm just going to fiddle around with the spring uh, to get it to a shape that's kind of whimsical and cute. And I will do that with each of the four pieces. At one point I switched to a little larger knitting needle just because I wanted to have a little bit of variance but you use a size that works well for you. And again, just add the seed bead. And adjust that wire. It's really fun that these seed beads are different colors. These are just really inexpensive seed beads. I think I got at Walmart or something like that. So they're not particularly consistent in size and they wouldn't be great for you know really nice beading projects, but they're really fun for a project like this where consistency of size doesn't really matter too much. I'm looking for the color and the size of the bead. This is a really fun project for a swap that one of your clay guilds might have, or if you want to use it in a tile project, um, just as a little decoration to sit on your desk, or a refrigerator magnet, something like that would be really fun. I want to thank you for joining me in my studio. As always, I appreciate you. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again for joining me in my studio. Take care.